good morning. Uh, it's a new dawn, new day, new life, new location for me, so I'm not doing too bad. Uh, we're waking it up. So we're in Oldham at the moment. We actually are in Oldham this time. Instead of like last time when I said we we're in Oldham, but we're actually in Bury. So yeah, I think uh, same goals for Bury actually. I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna leave the GoPro very on for this location because Hopefully it won't be too long, and also so I've been falling behind on the, on the video editing lately, so I do apologise for that. Um, and we do need a bit of reorganisation for this week as well. Um, just trying to get a hold of some new locations, because all the locations don't come out at the same time, it's kind of like bit by bit. Uh, Carlisle, I think it's the next one after this as well, so all's good. And yeah, let's see what Alden holds for me. It actually snowed. Um, it's <laughs> it's going to the end of April and it actually snowed. I'm actually a lot more used to it snowing in March than in winter in the UK, so that's, this is very strange for it to be snowing. There's a lot of like cold air coming from the north essentially, so we knew it was going to be cold and bad weather, but it's like halfway through that I had to stop because light rain, I can't get snow on it. So. <laughs> So yeah, I had to stop the system, and on the way back, just as I thought it would be okay, I thought it would just be a couple of spats, started it up again, went a different route way back to the van, and then it really started snowing, with like no cover at all, so I had to stop it, just like hightail it as quick as I could to here. So yeah, the important thing is I actually finished the location, so at least it held off for that. Yeah, now we need to figure out where we're going next. This is really cool. On my way home at the moment, and I just saw like five police cars sneaking on the hard shoulder and just creeping up beside us. And they're just like circulating and block the roads off, but it looks as though someone's actually getting a. They've just done like a, a sneaky arrest on someone, which is really awesome. I'll try and get some better footage of it. Bear with me. Damn.
absolute comical timing. Uh, I've literally just packed up and finished up in Carlisle. But just as I was closing my van door, uh, the Google Street View car just uh, just came into the same car park as I'm in. I went chasing after him, going, hey, sort of wailing my hands around. Um, uh, eventually, he went down like the next aisle of cars so I could uh, intercept him from there. He didn't look very impressed when I came over. I was like, why aren't your window down? And I thought, mm, what's, what's this guy going to be doing? Um, so I just went straight up to his window and said, um, I'm using the Trekker right now. So that's when we managed to get a lot of conversation going. Yeah, I think we'll retire for today and then we'll pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> Little tree as are coming to York. The geese and big geese. Oh, I just missed them all. There's millions of little chicks. I've oh, just gone down there. York, sadly. Uh, we only managed to cover about half the wall and uh, we got to call it a day. Um, I just keep stopping and starting. This, the, edit, the editing's unreal. So, um, yeah, I'm under some shelter now, but I'm going to have to dismount uh, from the trucker. Got to put this coat over the camera and then I'm going to have to try and hike it back to the car because it's lots of weather report, it's not going to get in today. So, you have to call it in. I'm actually mad. No, I'm not, I'm not mad. I am flipping fuming at the moment. It's not, it wasn't the location and it wasn't the equipment or anything like that, but yeah, we've had to cancel York, sadly. I got the equipment set up after waiting for two hours in the rain could stop and then as soon as I started you know it was just raining on and off constantly and I kept having to start look for cover take off the trekker uh, cleaning it and you know just waiting for the rain to stop essentially and, and I, I didn't get anywhere I took cover as you saw in that last uh, that last segment and it just didn't stop so decided to pack it in because it's kind of approaching the three hour weather window that we have and I looked at the weather report on the phone I saw it weren't going to get any better so that was it really and 
in the paint shop if right now. I used my coat to cover the trekker from the rain and then just walked it back in my t-shirt for the rest of the way. But here's what really, really did my head in. The second, the second I put that trekker down in the van, and then as soon as I shut that van door, what do I see above me? Blue sky. You know, fluffy clouds and blue sky. That was that was kind of it. In fact, I don't even need these in it. Actually, yeah, I do need these. And yeah, that was just a massive kick in the teeth for me. To, you know, to, to be in York for three or four hours, to wait it out for that long and then get to the point where I think, you know what, it's not going to get any better. And then to see, you know, lovely skies above me. I mean, I'm not in that situation now. Driving up, I'm actually chasing the same storm. So yeah, just it's the first one I've had to cancel so far, so you know I'm not in a good mood going into the weekend. GoPro actually ran out of battery juice as we were going through the town centre and um, so for the last bit I kind of switched we didn't really miss too much but as we came out of the town centre I came onto the pier which was our last journey to take in Southport good place to finish it's a good place for uh, for the checkered flag to be and yeah thanks for watching it's been a great week and um, I've enjoyed every minute of it hope you have too my name is Ricardo and thank you for watching